Welcome to CADEX TV. My name is Frank Fortunato. Today is Tuesday, August 13th, 2013. More bad news for Tower Insurance Group yesterday afternoon when AM Best said it had placed the reinsurer under review with negative implications, leaving its crucial A- ratings under threat of a downgrade. Tower share price had plummeted at the end of last week after the New York listed company issued a profits warning triggered by adverse reserve development estimated at about $110 million. It said it was delaying its second quarter uh, results. Tower, of course, uh, was to have purchased and may yet purchase the reinsurance arm of American Safety Insurance Company based down in Bermuda. The main part of American Safety is being purchased by Fairfax Holdings up in uh, Canada. Uh, I do not believe that the uh, deals are conditioned upon each other, so presumably the Fairfax deal will still go through, although that's running into its own issues. Fairfax had to increase their bid for the main insurance part of American Safety because of pressure from a competing uh, bidder called Catalina. So it's not so easy to sell a company. Yesterday uh, evening at about 11.15 p.m. in the tranquil cornfields of uh, western Illinois, there was a huge explosion sending flames about 300 feet into the night sky. What else? It was one of the millions of miles of gas lines that crisscrossed the North American continent underground. This particular gas line is owned by Enterprise Products Partners in Houston, Texas. It's carrying a mixture of ethane and propane. The operators in Houston quickly shut the uh, pipeline down and crews are now investigating why it happened. It occurred just outside the town of Erie, about 27 miles northeast of Davenport, Iowa. Speaking of gas pipelines, of course, one of the big issues in the United States is the Keystone Energy Pipeline, which is going to run from the Alberta tar fields down into refineries in the central and uh, southern coast of the United States. Uh, environmentalists are saying that it's a potential disaster in the offing. However, according to the Consumer Energy Alliance, uh, which is associated apparently with the builders of the Trans-Canada Pipeline, at the end of the day, this is going to be the safest pipeline ever built in North America. According to the Association of Oil Pipelines, an industry group, accidents are a thousand times more likely to occur with large tanker trucks, 13 times more likely to occur by barge, and five times more likely to occur by rail tankers than they are on a pipeline. Uh, environmentalists have criticized the uh, Keystone Pipeline for not including external leak detection equipment such as infrared sensors or fiber optic cables. Pipeline owners are saying that these are only experimental technologies and that the main concern, in fact, is to prevent leaks completely. In fact, what uh, the Keystone Pipeline people plan to do is to use pressure gauges and valve systems throughout the pipeline, but shorten the sequences as to where the shutoff valves may be located. Of course, this all depends as to whether the uh, Obama administration allows the pipeline to proceed. On Sunday in uh, the uh, Borno state of Nigeria, there was a massacre. It now turns out that some 44 people have been killed praying at a mosque. Uh, they were uh, gunned down of all people by uh, suspected Islamic militants. This is presumably a Sunni versus Shia event. It most likely was caused by the terrorist group Boko Haram. Uh, the Boko Haram uh, sect leader made a video appearance and he claimed a uh, series of recent deadly attacks being his uh, forces work, although he did not specifically claim any responsibility for the massacre on Sunday. The Itasca, Illinois-based broker uh, Arthur J. Gallagher has continued its acquisi uh, acquisition streak. It purchased uh, U.S. rival Bollinger for about $277 million today. Uh, Bollinger is based in New Jersey. It placed in excess of a billion dollars in premium into the market last year. It's ranked as the 21st largest broker in the United States in property and casualty placement and wholesale brokerage as well as program management. Another good deal for Gallagher. They are on a buying streak. The Israeli Iron Dome defense system that's used against missiles intercepted a rocket last night that was fired from the Sinai Peninsula in Egypt and headed for the uh, southern resort city of Eilat. 
Um, the rocket attack came at the height of the summer vacation season in Israel. The city was packed with tourists, both Israeli and foreign. Witnesses said that uh, the sirens went off in the city sometime after 1 a.m. and booms were heard over the city as the rocket was shot down by a uh, Patriot missile coming from the Iron Dome system. That's the news for today. If we have any breaking news, we'll come back and tell you. Thank you for watching and we'll see you tomorrow.